this room of death. No. Uh, bones, a lot of hippopotamus, um, whatever this big horny creature is over here. A red deer, I guess those are extinct now. That's an awfully big deer. Hippopotamus. This is where I think a lot of the myth of the Cyclops came from, is finding um, skulls such as this, with the big opening in the front. And this is just a skeleton of a young elephant. So I'm going to go walk down and try to find the cave. And look, here are some of those famous cart ruts down here. Hmm, I didn't know there were any going to be here. Just filmed some down by the water that actually led into the water. So that's interesting. It's not what we came here for, but very cool. continue down to the cave site hopefully I'm going the right way Cart ruts. There's so many theories about them, but they're practically all over Malta. I know they're found around the world as well, but there's so many theories relating to what they are, what they could have been, and back to even ancient vehicles 14 million years ago or some something. Um, I, I don't have any personal theory about them yet, but I'm still investigating them because they are interesting no matter what. They're quite intriguing. So it looks like we've made it. Okay. Okay. So maybe you want to pause this and read it. So apparently they're, they keep bees around here, so you need to be very careful. If you come, don't wear perfumes, because there are a lot of them. All right. Let me see. There goes my gimbal messing up again. Sorry about that, guys. Just ignore that in the rest of the video. Ooh, look at this. So this cave is Paleolithic. They found Neanderthal artifacts in here, apparently. And this is quite beautiful. It's really interesting. It was quite peaceful besides the bees, which are everywhere. Hmm. Well, I wish you guys could be here. It's sort of an intense place. 
So there was occupation going back really far. I don't know exactly how far. There's again many theories. But let's go over here and take a peek. So there are different layers they have them listed to animals. Um, see a bone free clay layer, layer, then underneath that, a hippopotamus layer. deer layer, domestic animal layer, so, um, let me go down here, so abundant remains of dwarf deer and brown bear, fox, wolf, and then, so down here, I'm going to move this up slowly and show you the difference between, uh, up, w way up here, the domestic layer animals. Oh, it's getting a bit dark in here. Sorry. Let me see if I can get down a bit. Uh, and that uh, reminds me here of Malta quite a bit. It's really interesting. This cave is really beautiful. There's uh, stalactites, stalagmites. There's a dark comb right here in front of us. That is a stalagmite. again another one over there it's so dark sorry Let's see if I can get in the light for you guys a bit of light over here that's good and it just sort of goes on it's sorry about the dark and there's a sign saying we cannot go beyond this point Oh, it's a shame. I should just do it anyway. Hmm. I asked this because of wood louse contamination. I think over there. That dang wood louse. Just getting at everything, ruin everything. I would certainly go take a peek back there for you guys. If. There was, let me get down here and show you. You can pause that and read about the wood, wood lice. I wasn't joking. Um, so if there wasn't this camera right there, I would go back there for you. But there's one right above and to the right. If I get down another hippopotamus layer, for you hippo lovers out there, okay. Well, pretty much that's all they want us to see in this cave for whatever reasons. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think the charge for two people was like 13 euros for this and seeing another temple um, just right near here. So 13 euros for two, so divide that. So like 650 in euros if you want to go alone to the two temples. I think it's just five if you just want to come to the Paleolithic cave here. 
the little museum is full of death. Well, full of animal bones and whatnot. If you're interested in that. And the fact that there are um, cart ruts on site, that's a bonus. I didn't know there were some here. Very pleased about that. Turning nuts for cart ruts. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, I think I will head into the light. This house is clean. To the light. You can hear the bees buzzing, so if you're allergic, this might not be the place for you to come. Yep. Either that, bring you... If you are, bring your EpiPen for sure. Don't wear perfume. Okay. So let me throw down and show you a bit more. Quite beautiful, very peaceful place. Very lovely. down there. I don't know if you really got to see anything or not. Probably not much better, is it? Alright. Yep. I guess that's it for this Pale of Lithic Cave. Thank you guys so much. Bye.